So before I tear this down, I wanted to do a follow-up video on the HA failover physical layer video I did yesterday. So I still have this set up. It's another new day and there was a lot of comments on the video. And, uh, you know, I'm happy that the video is popular, but a lot of people, some people misunderstood this to think this was a deployment. I So I wanted to make a follow-up video and talk about some of the hardware that was used in an actual deployment that we did. And it certainly wasn't this. Uh, we, to my knowledge, well, we've never installed any. I, I can't say there's not some of the some cheap switches floating around data centers. I've seen some stuff, but I will say that this is not what we would recommend to deploy. Because some people are like, oh yeah, because the power supply on this little neck gear could fail and that could be a fail point. You're not wrong at all. Um, this was more for demonstration purposes. Now the actual install that we did that I cannot show you photos of because if, uh, well, most data centers just don't let you wander around with cameras uh, and they don't really care for you doing that. If you've ever been in a data center where, or a colo uh, where this is, because it's not owned by the person putting it in, um, it's a colo system, which means other people are there and they don't want you wandering around taking pictures of everything. So what was the actual deployment? We used two XG 7100s. Now the 7100s are really nice solid performers they can do up to 10 gig uh, and you can buy those and they bought the whole kit as the ha kit all configured so we have some great two pf senses solid one u rack mounts also we got two edge switches one u rack mount each and with the edge switches because yes any one switch is a single point of failure not just the power supply in a switch because someone mentioned dual power supply switches yeah you can get those as well we went with the dual switch method and by doing the dual switch method each server has multiple network interfaces on it so we've configured each server to have a network interface that copies to connects to one switch and then the other network interface connects to the other switch and the switches are set up to talk to each other so if either switch fails they have that redundancy there and this goes on through all the servers all have redundant connections the only things that don't have and it's just the pdus they were using there's a couple things like the power distribution units that are only quit connected to switch zero versus connected to switch zero and switch one but this creates redundant links basically you can unplug any switch and the system keeps working. You can unplug either one of the PF Sense XG7100s and the system keeps working. They even have the feeds, dual feeds coming in to the system. And the way that works is we actually took the edge switch and we parsed out a couple of the other network ports on it to be dedicated to the WAN side. And then the other sides are all dedicated to the LAN side. And you do create segments of the switch and lock it down. So this is the WAN side over here and these certain ports and then the rest are used for this. And yes, I'm aware of setting it to edge port so it gets uh, connection faster, which ones are set to edge, et cetera, et cetera. So this is not not a real world deployment uh, for those that seem to do it. So I figured I'd make this video so I can just reply with a video um, to make that pretty easy. But it is cool that you can use any small network uh, NetGate device, even these. If I had two of these, I would have did a video with a couple of uh, these basic ones even to get this done. You can do failover with, uh, you know, less than $200 ones because it's a feature of PFSense, uh, not a feature that is limited to or only allowed to work on certain models. But I figured I'd just do this quick follow-up video to talk about that before I broke it all down. This is not the ideal situation. You would have redundant switches. You would have, um, you know, obviously the redundant parts here, but everything is much redundancy as you can because ideally if something fails in a data center, uh, you shouldn't lose connectivity to it. They're, the only thing that even for this client, I mean, they have RAID arrays, they have storage arrays, uh, but when it does come down to, they still only have a couple servers in there. So they're still building out redundancy that still needs to be done. It's part of the future upgrade path we're doing as this client expands their business and uh, high availability is a hugely important aspect to them. Uh, that's why we went with, you know, all the equipment that we did. Uh, but like I said, this is just a follow-up to that. Uh, I'll don't really have anything more to say, but if there's enough comments on this and maybe there's some other video that spins off of this, let me know. I do listen and read to read all the comments and come up with ideas. Or if you uh, want to participate in the forums and have a discussion about this, absolutely. This is a great topic. Uh, you know, hardware redundancy, HA failure, especially when you're dealing with a lot of remote sites. Um, they're critical to having your infrastructure and making sure it all stays up and running. All right. Thanks.
Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe to this channel to see more content, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon, and maybe YouTube will send you a notice when we post. If you want to hire us for a project that you've seen or discussed in this video, head over to lawrencesystems.com where we offer both uh, business IT services and consulting services and are excited to help you with whatever project you want to throw at us. Also, if you want to carry on the discussion further, head over to forums.lawrencesystems.com where we can keep the conversation going. And if you want to help the channel out in other ways, we offer affiliate links below which offer discounts for you and a small cut for us that does help fund this channel. And once again, thanks again for watching this video and see you on next time.